Howdy, it's Tubal Cain, and the subject of this video is how to identify threads. Now I've done videos about that in the past, but I'm going to do another one because it's been quite some time, and in general people don't go back and look at those old videos. But really what I was doing was preparing to make a video to, and talking about machine screw sizes from uh, 0 up to 12, and in fact, that will be the next video. I got sidetracked here on uh, on threads and how to identify them. Now, if you're an old timer like me, you can pretty much tell threads just by looking at them and uh, and examining them real quickly. But for you younger guys, you might have trouble identifying threads. And first of all, we have to decide whether they're metric or imperial, which I'm going to call English. Some of the British get mad when I say that, but. In general, today I'm just talking about imperial sizes. One of the easiest ways to do it is to simply take a box of nuts. If you have full boxes that are uh, not contaminated, uh, just take out uh, different nuts until you find one that fits. But there are easier ways than that, really. Now, if you're going to the hardware store to match up a thread and you're not sure what it is, the uh, just about every store or home center, or box store, whatever you want to call them, has on their shelf various manufacturers uh, threads, both internal and external, to help you identify these threads. Part of that is because the clerks usually don't know anything about it either, if in fact there is a clerk. So you can take your bolt right to the hardware store and there's the metric sizes and fit it up. Or take a nut and fit it on the uh, the male part. So check that out. You probably are aware of that. But there's also many of many different kinds of what I call screw checkers, and you have seen me use these over and over. And this is really the same one. This is the Brownells brand. This is the old Brookstone brand. But other than the labels up at the top. The badges, these are exactly the same, and I really like these. These are metal. So you can put the screw into the one where it fits. For instance, this is a, a 1224, kind of an unusual one. Does it fit without forcing? Now, there are other brands, and this one is an ACE brand for metric. The screw pitch uh, gauge is missing in this one, but here's really exactly the same one painted red, molded red, snap on. That allows them to triple or quadruple the price. Now they make these in imperial size too, but these happen to be metric that I picked up used. Of course, the time honored and time proven test would be to take a micrometer and mic it. Well, this may confuse some of the youngsters because this reads 483, but we do know that, in fact, this is a half-inch bolt. Check it in your, in your gauge. Well, is it fine or coarse? Well, just by experience, I know that that's a coarse, and then we would check it with our thread pitch gauge. Remember that I may be talking now to some youngsters who know nothing about this. So if you got older guys know all of this, well you just have to skip through it. But you can see how the 13 fits perfectly. There are dozens of different leaves here and that's a matter of trial and error. So thread pitch gauge and that's of course what was in the metric right here. What I'm going to tell you now is almost unbelievable coincidence, or is it divine intervention, but I was preparing for this this morning. This takes some preparation, believe it or not. But getting things out and, and gathering my thoughts, and sometimes I even make notes, well, I took a little break, had some coffee, went out and picked up the mail, and there's a package from a man who I've never met in all the years that I've been in the business, and his da name is uh, David Pigeon. I wonder if he was related to the great actor Walter Pigeon. Remember him? I liked him. He had kind of a funny lip. But anyway, here is 
the new standard in uh, threaded fastener identification. Thank you, David, for this. And it's just such a bizarre coincidence that this would arrive on the day that I'm doing this video. Have you ever noticed when you unwrap Christmas presents for your kids, if, a, if it's toys, sometimes you need a clipper to unpack them. They use dozens of these. I don't know what somebody does on the 84th floor of uh, John Hancock building when the... All right, get sidetracked. Anyway, this is neat because, and it's called the bolt sorter. And on one side, they're inched threads. And on the back side, metric. So let me uh, use the English side here. And for instance, this half 13 that I was just looking at, you can see it's not going to fit into the fine one, but falls right in and turns in the half 13. Let's take another one here. This, for instance, fits perfectly, and it is 7 16 14. Let's look at a fine one. fits right into the 7 16 fine, which is 7 16 20. Well, why do you need to even identify threads? Because perhaps you're going to tap a hole, or perhaps you just need a replacement bolt, one that is uh, damaged or missing. And this different methods here will help you determine the diameter and the pitch. Again, pitch means the, either the number of threads per inch or in the case of metrics, it's the distance from the top of one thread to the next thread, or the crest of the thread. So this bolt sorter is pretty awesome because it covers coarse and fine, and imperial and metric. Get yourself one of those. Let me show you this again. Not sure where you get those, but probably in an automotive parts store. Sort the most common SAE and metric threads available. So in review, you need to determine the diameter and the pitch, and that can be done by several ways. Remember to check the diameter, either with a drill gauge or a micrometer or a caliper or something like that, and then the pitch using a thread pitch gauge or a known nut. Now it does not work very well to thread these into threading dies, so I would avoid that as a, as a gauge. And then we got all the different thread checkers here, and including the new uh, bolt sorter. Or go to the hardware store, like I showed you in the picture, and use their device or talk to somebody there that might be able to help you. Hope this was helpful. This was meant mainly for newbies. Now be sure and watch the next video where I try to explain screw machines sizes, that is numbers 0 up to 14, as opposed to fractional. And I'm not talking about metric, I'm talking about imperial screw machine sizes. Hope this was helpful. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.